And now on CRN Radio, it's time for Silver Moments with Dr. Marsha Baltimore. And now, here's Dr. Baltimore. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for tuning in. This is Dr. Marsha, and today I have a great guest for you all. Get prepared to call us up later, but for the time being, his name is Mr. Shalom Katz, and he's an attorney for trusts and estates. And we want you to meet him. Mr. Katz, hello. And good morning, doctor. How are you? It's nice to, that you agreed to come here and help us out to learn about it. My pleasure. I have some questions. Is it okay if I ask you some questions? Go right ahead. Okay. I want to know in the first place, how do I know I need a trust? Well, you got to do an analysis of what you're worth. If mm. you're worth, uh, say, a million dollars, take a round number, uh, regardless of whether or not uh, you have any debt, if you're worth a million dollars and you die without a trust, let's say you even have a will, there will be a probate. Uh, and and the probate fees to the lawyer for that million dollars will be $23,000, and your executor, or if there's no will, the administrator will get $23,000 as well. Now, if you have a spouse and everything goes to the spouse, there doesn't have to be a probate. But if it's going to kids, uh, let's say you have a second spouse and you don't want the spouse to get everything, you want it to go to your children, you have to plan in advance. And these are pretty hefty costs. Even a $100,000 probate, you're looking at paying $4,000 in legal fees mm -hmm. right off the top, plus the court costs, whatever they might be. But you can go up to 23, 20? Just for a million, 1% of everything above that also. So if you got $2 million, and now it's $33,000. Oh, yeah, I see. People who are rich have to give it Well, back. it's not, it's also, it's not only a matter of having an asset worth that, even if you have no value, because no equity, because you have a large uh, mortgage against the property, uh, the law doesn't care. Oh, In order to transfer title to the property, you have to go through a probate proceeding. If you have a trust, you don't have to do that. It's automatic. It's automatic. It's the trust owned by, owns the property? The Is trust, that how it's... Well, the trustee, who's a fiduciary, owns the property. And upon the death or the uh, inability to act because they are uh, suffer from dementia or some other issue or they're physically too ill, they're in a coma, there's, the trust has a procedure for someone to immediately take over without court supervision. Oh, and I then see. at the death of the settlor, the grantor of the trust, whatever term you want to use, the trustor, uh, the trustee just distributes the property where it's supposed to go, and there's no need for a probate. A probate takes, on the average, at least one year, and it's public documents, everything that's filed in a probate. And so it's the, the state law that uh, kicks in, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely, and uh -huh. the, uh, the public, the inquiring minds, can go and find out everything they want from court documents. Nothing is sealed. They can find out what you, where your assets were when you're dead, how much they were worth, who your beneficiaries are, and your beneficiaries' home addresses because those are all public documents. I see. Well, that's a good thing. Now I know we need the trust, so we'll all come over to your office and call you at 310-571-2727, and we'll say, we need a trust. Now, it's that's not the just, first thing. Yeah, it's not just the trust. With the trust, as, as part of the estate plan that lawyers typically provide, you will also get a will. This will is called a pour-over will, which says everything <coughs> that I own that I never put in the name of the trust if it has to be probated, it will go to the trust and to be distributed as part of my estate plan. That's good to know. That's uh, good. We also provide uh, powers of attorney for financial assets. Now, theoretically, your trust and you as trustee should control all of what your assets are doing. Uh, but the power of attorney supplements that. So in case you're incompetent and some bank wants somebody to sign something, uh, whoever you nominate as your agent, will be able to very easily just step in the breach. Good. We're all calling you up. 310-571-2727. CRN Travelers, relax 